All right, hey guys, how are you today? So I have a project coming up that I can't really talk too much about, but it involves me being uh, in a photo shoot. I need a half finished canvas and I am unsure about the subject matter I want said canvas to be. So normally I would just wing it, but this is a photo shoot and I don't feel like winging it is the proper thing to do. So I really want to paint both of these subjects, but I, for this photo shoot, can only pick one. I, at some point, I'm going to do both of them on a big canvas. That being said, I have this face, which is the cover of uh, Vanity Fair for March 2018. I'm going to cut away here to the footage of me doing the page of the face. And I want to use the cover image as inspiration for my painting. I don't want to copy it exactly. That's not who I am. I want an expressive abstract or semi-abstract image, and that's what I'm shooting for. So I decide to first do it in a journal, and I then will do a small canvas, and then we will pick one, and I, I will pick one and do it on the big canvas. So we're going to start first with the face. And I have the image next to me. You can see we're going to cut away here to the footage of me speeding through the painting process. And I start out with putting some neon colors down on the page and then working through my color palette, which includes Payne's Gray, Titanium White, Brilliant Violet, Thalo Turquoise, Permanent Blue Violet, uh, Neon Rose, Neon Yellow, Azo Orange, and... Um, yeah, and, and white. I already said white. I wrote them down. Um, and I start layering my colors down. I'm also using a Stabilo pencil and a regular number two pencil um, to start with to sketch the face and give me an interesting outline. And then I start adding my color. I use the pencil very sparingly because I really, like I said, want it abstract and expressive. I don't want it... Um, be too literal with it and I'm making sure to use my warm and neon colors to suggest the light and my cool and dark colors to suggest the shadow. I really am, ha for a journal page, I'm happy with how she turned out. I did not wait for colors to dry during the process, which you're going to see here. I um, should have and things did get a little bit muddy on a couple of different points. So if you're going to do this, I would recommend doing a layer, letting the paint dry, come back, do another layer. When I'm doing a big canvas, that's usually what I do. So that being said, here's the footage. Uh, we're going to speed through the process. If you have any questions about this one, leave it in the comments below. And But don't go anywhere because we've got another one to do. All right, I'll be back.
All right, hey guys, how did you like that? All right, so this is my second image, which is an abstract, uh, abstracted um, picture of sunflowers that I myself took uh, here at my house uh, in a blue glass jar that I have laying around. So, um, and then I abstracted it in an app, which doesn't work anymore with the current iOS, so you can't get the app anymore. But anyway, um, I abstracted the image and then it's saved in my inspiration book and I have always intended to paint it on a canvas um, so it is my second choice for images and I'm really kind of leaning towards a floral to be really honest with you at least for this canvas um, I think it lends itself very well to the shape of the canvas I'm going to be working on which is a long tall narrow canvas like a rectangle does that make sense anyway um, so here's we're going to speed forward through the process of me painting. I start out by putting down some background colors that coordinate with the photo, um, some whites, some grays, a little bit of red, some blue, and let it dry, walk away. I don't want to have a repeat of too much mud, right? I did, while the paint background paint was wet, come in with a Stabilo pencil and sketch out like rough circle or half circle-y shapes where I knew I wanted the flowers to be so I could kind of get a rough layout. Once that was dry, I came in with Payne's Gray Titanium White um, Burnt Umber oop, 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 oop. Um, Manganese Blue al al Oh, I hate this one. Aluramide Yellow that's not how you pronounce that. Um, carmine, sap green, um, aqua, and azo orange. I'm going to have a list of all the colors for both pages in the description below, never fear. Um, so I start with painting the sunflower centers and with the Payne's Gray and some of the blues and then I start roughly mapping out the petals of the sunflowers um, with the yellow in its pure form. I do eventually mix it with orange and then also uh, to get a lighter tone mix it with some titanium white um, and then I do a layer of that then I put some of the green in then I go back and add some more highlights and low lights to the petals and then I go back and add some more to the green and I keep going back and forth that way not being afraid to get the baby wipe involved or my um, hair dye brush or some of my other tools uh, in order to um, achieve the suggested rough abstracted image that I want. You also see me pulling one of my stencils in um, which is four square one I believe from my Etsy shop. I'll put a link to it in the description below um, to put some suggested um, um, textures in the background. Most of it ends up being covered up, um, but it, you know, it just gave me a place to get started. I may do more of that on the canvas. I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to speed forward here through the process and um, yeah, enjoy it. Let me know what you think. What's your opinion? And when we come back in episode two, I am going to do both images on a small canvas, one each on each canvas. So we'll see what happens.
All right, so that's it for right now. I hope that this gives you something to think about. Let me know what you think, and um, don't forget to have fun, do some painting, express yourself. Don't feel like you have to have realistic images. There's nothing wrong with a good expressive abstract, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye, guys.